We is here in the place to be. What is going on, everybody? I hope everybody had a great week. We're back again because it's another Friday. I got, I changed everything. So now I don't have my YouTube window pulled up. I got everything showing in OBS. I can see chat and the video at the same time, which is pretty cool. So I don't have to. Um, I have no idea because I don't know how often he checks his email. It could be once every 3,000 messages. I don't <laughs> well, that is an old email, but I do think I remember you saying that you got the juice, Scorp. I think I checked that and saw it, I think. But that's cool. I'm glad to know you got it. What's up, Bill? How you doing? Yeah, um, for those that don't know, that did not watch the video, I did go flying this past Sunday. Yeah, past Sunday. The takeoff was very scary because like an idiot, I. the best way I can explain it is my right hand, I, I, my throttle's in my right hand, right? So I have my throttle in my right hand, my brake in my right hand, and I'm holding my A. And for some reason, my my brake and my throttle wasn't meshing together right. So I took all of it off so I could readjust. I fixed the throttle back on, but when I went to grab my brake, I just reached down and grabbed it instead of going around the risers and grabbing it like you're supposed to. So when I went to take off on the trike and you can hear Jay yelling, power, power, and I'm like, uh, no. I need to make sure my wing's right. They've never flown a trike in their life, but yet they're trying to tell me how to launch a trike, so good luck with that. So anyways, as my riser, basically if you think about all the lines behind my head, as they're coming up, that brake is going around the front. So as they're coming up, it pushed that line. So you can see right as I'm taking off, <laughs> that my whole thing turned to the right and it looks like I pulled the brake. That's not what happened. The slack, when that thing pushed forward, the slack let my hand fall down. I didn't pull the brake. It literally went down because I was falling that way. <laughs> but it took off at the same time I noticed it. So I was basically in the air at that point. So I quickly let go of the brake, let it come back around and grabbed it and then it it oscillated a little bit and, stru and went straight, and I was good after that. And if y'all saw the video, the landing went great. Um, that was probably one of the best landings I've had besides the touch and goes I did. So that was awesome. Um, mm -hmm. Tomorrow is supposed to be a day. This I did get. Um, I did notice on the Smoke V3 headset, which I haven't posted any videos about because honestly, the audio quality was complete crap that came out of it. Luckily, um, Ryan Roberts from PBG Smoke um, messaged me because he was like, hey, you didn't you didn't send in your second headset. I was like, well, honestly, I'm trying to keep the old one because it sounds better than the new one. He's like, oh no, the new one's better in every way. And I'm like, I, it's got no side tone, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, it's got side tone. You just have to double click the power button. Why didn't they put that? There's no instructions when you get the headset, so nobody would know to double-click the power button. There needs to be a video somewhere on YouTube, if I have to do it myself, I will, that tells you that you need to double-click the power button to turn on side tone. You don't tone. even need a video. They could put a sticker, double-click me for side tone, right on the headset. Something, you know, <laughs> and once you do that, the sound is like crystal clear after that. I'm like, well, that's what, but he still thinks there's a problem with my headset because when you turn the sound, the side tone that's off, okay. it sounds like crap. But when you turn it on, it sounds great. So hopefully he wants me to send that one back. He's already sent me a brand new headset. It's on the way here. I have to send this one back. And then I still have another one I need to send in for warranty. And then I'll have two brand new headsets that hopefully both work well and I'll be good to go. But yeah, so how's y'all week go? <laughs> Hi, Peanut. Munchkin got her mod in. It is very okay. nice. Um, I will show you guys in a second. I'm letting it charge because Munchkin vaped the bejesus out of it and didn't charge it correctly. So. Well, it was only at 75% when I got it, so... I don't well, consider that vaping the bejesus out of it. Well, I mean, 
it's not good to keep a mod at 100% unless you're going to use it right away. You don't want to let it sit with a full charge so they don't <laughs> ship them with a full charge, Hell which no. makes perfect sense. No, it is not disposable. No, not, a disposable, not a disposable mod. I'll show you. He, he's going to need to bring it to me because, well, I mean, no, you're going to want to use the uppy closey camera. All right, I will use the uppy close. Let me get the uppy closey camera ready because I did not click on that yet. Did y'all see Twisted 420's new review video? They got the disposable that you can play video games on now. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. It was like, really? Was, video he games? He was so excited. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a big old fro now, Twisted does. It's like, there you go, man. All right, let's show y'all. He had to come out of retirement. He was so excited. Now, I'm going to show y'all this mod, and if y'all want one of these, DCF has them. Um, they did a deal tonight. I know they did it. I forgot which deal number it was, but the they got a deal for 375 That's... You pick one of the designs Dave's already made, and he posts new designs all the time. But once you get that design, it's yours. So it's or like you a, could enter a, a waffle and and yeah, you could enter the just, waffle. They have a waffle, just like Jazzy used to do for the SX minis. They do waffles. Yeah, so it's five dollars a spot. They have eighty slots, and they have about almost 10 slots left in this waffle that they're doing right now. And I think it's for one of the, um, I don't know if it's for the custom one or the, Very nice, Bill. the one from the catalog. The catalog one is 375. The one where you make your own design, like if you wanted a paramotor mod, then that would be three, it's another $10, it's 385, so big deal. These Didn't are, I say the other day, and you argued with me when I said that everything you say comes back to paramotor in some form or fashion. No, it doesn't. You're literally talking about mods, and you're like, if you wanted a paramotor on it. Well, there's there's a paramotor pilot in the chat. You know, I'm just saying. Just saying. That so ought to be awesome, to Bill. You know. That ought to be awesome. Kramer's okay. heart of Texas, yeah. Hey, Roger. Texas is um, too daggum far. <laughs> Roger, good to see you. research into the shitty new layout, and apparently YouTube has just decided that's the way they want it to look now. So if yours hasn't changed, it will eventually. Um, I sent feedback, and I was like, I hate it. Change it back. It's distracting. I don't want to see videos underneath the video I'm currently watching. I, this, I can go back. I don't like it. I hate it. This is Munchkin's new mod. Um, this has a DNA 250C in there, so you can see it's set at 100 watts right now. It is at 66% power, um, charging ports right there. It is a 3000 Ma, so, um, it, uh, it's very nice looking, very clean on the inside. I mean, there's not a lot on the inside. They don't usually, these are made by JD Mods, by the way. So the mods themselves are made by JD Mods, but the wrap um, Dave designs and, and has you know made to put on there. So there's your 3,000 mAh battery, the DNA 50, 250C chip. Hey, Ed. Why is this? Come on. Come on. Camera. Hello. Jeez, man, that's a slow camera. But it's I'm really, it's really simple. I mean, um, fire button's up here. Your 510 down here to the board, then the power goes over to the battery, and that's that's it. It's very simple. Yeah, the magnets the magnets are pretty strong on this, and they have a choice of um, stainless or black hardware. So if you wanted black hardware, you could get that. Munchkin wanted silver because it would match the lady on here better, which it does. It kind of looks like she's got a big old earring on or something. But yeah, this is it. It's big. It is not a small mod by any I means. I mean, you know, I love that wrap. <laughs> the only thing that's disappointing is I don't want the lady on my mod. I don't want people on. I'm not a big fan of people on my wraps. If it was just the dragons, it would be a thousand. They dollars. had, well, they had some that were just dragons, but. No, they all had people on them. No, not, a, not when you got yours, though. Oh. They, okay. People already claimed those, so. But it, it looks good. So, the tank I want to try to build, which I don't know. I don't have enough coil built. I literally have this much wire. I have coils. Okay, because... I, I, found, I found a bunch when I was looking for drip tips. I may have to use the coils that Munchkin has because 
<laughs> Otherwise, I can only make like one coil and then hope for the best. And what tank are you going to build? Oh, you haven't seen it in my hand, Harry. <laughs> This is um He's got big old man paws. It's huge. In this my will head. match it really good. This is the Mod That's Father. This is the Mod Father RTA that we're you gonna be putting on. You didn't chuckle at my innuendo, you're fired. It's a big hand. Anything's big no, that goes I said in. Your... It looks huge in my hand. That's that's what she but you're too busy running your mouth. I I not listening to me. It looks yeah, I heard that it's huge in your hand, but you know depends on what you're talking about. You're fired. <laughs> so, um, I did this 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 little pod here. I've been vaping on. This is the weird one that has two tanks, right? So all week I just finished this tank today. Now I'm on tank B, and tank B is at ninety percent. That's the top number up there, ninety percent, and the battery's at seventy five percent. So it's still going strong. This is actually a, a this is supposed to be 22,000 puffs. It's still going strong. I did find out something about these, which I, I did show on the little live I did on DCF, but the, these pyro disposables are pretty cool because the top comes off really easy. You can pop the top off of this and put more juice in there. How simple is that? I mean, I'm sure they don't want you to do it, but you can. Um, I would put a thinner mix in there. I wouldn't put like 80 VG in there or it, it'll have a hard time going through the um, the cotton, but it um, it's still vape fine. I'm disappointed, y'all. I went to the liquor store to buy more of that chocolate rum. Oh. <laughs> Bruno Mars has lost his mind. I'm What's not up, John paying. Wayne? Forty dollars for a bottle of fucking rum. So I found a twenty dollar bottle of chocolate vodka. So we'll see how that is after I finish the rum. It's delicious. It tastes like Tootsie Rolls. Yeah, the the rum good tastes chef. good, but yeah, forty dollars is kind of expensive for that. I, I agree. I mean, it's all mm -hmm. about the name brand. It is a pretty bottle though. Yeah, but a name brand. The only reason we know who made it is because the the girl at the liquor store told us. Yeah, that's true. It's not like it's got his name anywhere on it. That's true. It's like, uh, okay. He's got to pay off that fine for possession somehow, I suppose, but still. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, not, I don't want to get into paramotoring stuff. Um, so what else yes, can we Yes, at least the about? first hour has to be vape-related. <laughs> vape-related. Well, I mean, I need to get the I need to get the light pointed over here so we can um, build this tank. You got to build my mod father. I haven't used the mod father in probably six years. Well, show me what coils you have so I can see how we're gonna do this because Shit. we'll put we'll end up putting that tank on top of her new mod, which is it called the XL or something? I can't remember the name of that. NXL. Yeah, what? The mod, I think it's in excess. Does in it have a mod, a name? No, your yes, your mod, yes. It's like an NXL or something like that. I don't know. What mod did Munch can get? Well, Demilla, and if you Ooh, show up Jamila, on time, lucky, lucky, lucky. If you show up on time, you would get to see this. Is Do the not mod. harass Demilla. I gotta don't harass Demilla. So you this is slap him, this mod is made by JD Mods. Um, this is the 3000 Ma um, DNA 250C is what's in here. Boost to have put on here, and my camera froze again. Why does this camera freeze all the time? Unfreeze camera. I'm waiting for the camera to catch up. Now it's saying. I did shit. King Cobra. I kind of like that. You know, I'm, I might consider getting one of those things. Why is it now? It's still frozen. I don't know. It just told me that my internet's unstable. Me too, internet. Me too. All right. Okay. There we go. Now it's back moving again, at least for now. But yeah, here's here's the whole much Munchkin wanted um, silver hardware. You can also get black hardware. So instead of this being silver, it would be black, and uh, as well as the buttons. Um, you're up and down and your menu select is in the middle here charge ports down here 3000 mAh battery um, this thing can really put out the power it's very clean in here 
I mean, you literally have the chip, a couple wires, 510, and a battery, and that's it. The, the, the um, magnets on here are really strong. Now, this is not a small mod. I mean, nope. what can I compare this to? If I put the um, guar next to it, there's the guar, and that's how much taller that mod is. So, basically, it's, it's as huge. tall as a guar plus a tank. Um, I mean, I think it only cost him like 50 bucks because he won it in a waffle. Yeah, I won I won this one in a waffle, which they do waffles all the time. Yes, it is a 4S LiPo um, pile chucker. It is a wrap, uh, DeMillan. It, it's it a wrap. It doesn't feel like a wrap. It is a wrap. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like a wrap. I mean, it's really well done, honestly. Yeah, it's, um, the texture is very... Um, dry. It's I don't only, know. Yeah, it, it doesn't. almost, are you sure? It, it feels powder coated. But it's not. It's it's supposedly a wrap. They do a really good job with it. I'll tell you that. Yeah. I can't see a I think seam. They just or, use a, a different type of material for it. Yeah, it's really good. Measure it next to the hog. Okay. It makes the hammer of God seem <laughs> there's there's the hog. I mean, this this mod is taller than that. If you want to s compare that way, um, let me let me even these out here. Okay, there's Don't your you comparison. Get it all gross. I see juice all over your hog. Yeah, there, well, that's because I haven't used it for a minute. But yeah, that's it's definitely another couple inches taller. It's it's a big mod. I mean, in it's my hand, as, it's not that it, bad. But is it as thick? It, it's I think it's narrower than the hammer gun. Yeah, I think the hammer's a little a little wider, not by much. Um, well, we can't let's see from that angle. I don't think that it's gonna be a mod you would like carry around with you. Uh, you could, without a doubt, but this one's He's smoking crack. I carry that around with me. She does, yeah. I mean, I think it's more of a desktop mod. I do like the nice color screen. Well, it's a good thing I'm sitting at one eight hours a day, right? The battery is color coded, so it goes from red to yellow, red, green. My only complaint green. is I'm old and I can't read that fucking screen. I know this doesn't show up that well on camera, but it actually is. Uh, it's very colorful. Yeah, there you go. Now it's showing pretty good. Well, really, by the time it focuses. Right, look, I can read it there. Do I need to fucking zoom in on a camera to be able to read it? That might help you. See, I have it on watt boost mode right now. So you can do regular watts or watts boost. And this thing definitely throws out the power. I haven't even seen how high this thing will go. Um, let me go down to. No, don't start fucking with my settings. I'm just going to see how high the wattage goes, and then, I mean, I guess 250, right? That would be my guess. No, it's still going. No, Scorp, he is not allowed to touch that. Um, I mean, here's my issue with glasses, right, is I don't want to have to pay for a prescription and then have to pay. I mean, I, I want to use my own frames. So I can go do, to one of these. Do you see things, the max? I don't know. I'm talking. I don't know if I can send the frames I currently have or if I want to send them to a place like that. Because the frames I have are like $500 frames. And I'm not just going to throw them in a drawer and never to be touched again. Dining and flying. <laughs> yeah, this goes up to 400 watts. Um, now I don't know. I I'm I don't like vaping that hot. I mean I'm sure there's people that do. Maybe Cloud Chucker, but I'm yeah I'm not doing no 400 watts. That's nuts, man. I have one of these coming too. That's gonna have my own personal design um, that I work out with Dave. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, um, but I got one coming too. So that will be soon. I literally don't even owe that much money on it left. Uh, that one I, I got early because I won it on a waffle, and it was literally, hey, pick what you want. But since I'm already paying for one, Munchkin gets that one. It's only yep. fair, right? I, I'm, I like... Damn skippy. I like... I need 
before bed. Being fair. Yeah. I, I, he likes not sleeping on the couch. I want to I wanna see Munchkin hit that at 400 watts because I don't even want to try and hit that damn thing at 400 watts. And that's a DNA. It's not like it's let's, a little. Let's say no on that, but you can rebuild the Mod Father using that mod. And I will be taking this. What in the hell? I will... She just stole the mod. That ain't right. I'm just saying. Yeah, I had a couple of people in the paramotor chat give me hell about, oh, you shouldn't have done this or you should have done that when you was taking off. You'd have to be there. I literally was taking off on the taxiway where a plane was doing touch and go after touch and go. He had, he did at least, which it doesn't really show the plane but one time on my video, but he did at least 30 touch and goes, maybe 40 while we were flying. Now, the good thing is we had him on radio. He was saying, look, I'm going to stay on the north side of the airfield. Y'all stay on the south side. Everything's groovy. And it was. We never crossed paths. You can hear on gaggle as saying small aircraft on your nine o'clock, you know, whatever feet. But he was always on the other side. So he never got near us, which was awesome. Then we had skydivers come in three times while we were flying. And then we had the um, medevac helicopter come out and decide to take off. And when that happened, we weren't flying. How much longer do lipos last than 18650s? Ooh, good question. Well, it depends on the ma you get of your lipo, DeMillan. Um, if you think about the ma's on 18650s, the, the other one that we have, the Hadron, is only like 1300 ma. So it doesn't last that long, in my opinion. But this this new one that she got is 3,000 ma, and they also have one that's 5,000 ma. So I, I know he is Demilla. <laughs> During our hour, <laughs> it was entertaining that I I am I am a big scanner fanatic, right? So when we got the race scanner, when we go to the races. I promptly went home and programmed it so I could listen to all the cops and shit. So I did that kind of stuff. Um, I grew up using the CVs in my dad's car, so I think that's neat. So I thought it was really cool that I could hear all the airport traffic. That kept me occupied. I'll bet, John Wayne. Um, let's go to the buildy cam while you're filling your juice up. So I got, I took the bottom cap off of the Mod Father. And here's the build deck, which is an old velocity style build deck. Um, hey, that was an expensive tank. I got one did too somewhere. Do you? Did you? Yeah. I don't think you did. I know I, I do. I think I got a that me and Spygo bought this. I know I have a mod father. Now, whether or not this one's yours or mine, I don't know. But. That's mine, motherfucker. Don't try to claim my stuff. I don't know. Um, I do. It's mine. It was with my stuff, not yours. It's mine. Oh, okay. Well, then I have one also. But mine could be uh, anywhere. I got stuff in so many different places. It ain't even funny. This is going to be fun building on a velocity style all over again. Let's see if I can get this to focus because that's way out of focus. That's a little better. Good old flathead screws, man. All right, so these are the coils that she gave me. They just have an S on them, but... Um, Those are Andre coils. They're going to be low. Oh, great. Spygo, uh, no, there wasn't a big drama. He just got tired of doing the show. He was trying to take care of his parents, um, and he, he just... It became a chore, so he stopped. Um, but you remember how Spy Goat was all like anti girls and shit. Like, he's married. He has joined a, I don't want to call it a biker gang, but a biker club. So he's back doing the motorcycle thing. Um, his the, his YouTube is still up, but it's all motorcycle videos. Hmm. The only drama is when he booted Shadow Diamond. From 
from the show, but that was that was pretty much it. All right, let me get the right size pole for it this. It is Creed. Who made that? <laughs> oh, Creed's here. <laughs> Creed's been here. I didn't know. I didn't see him. I haven't been looking up that much. Yeah, and you probably didn't say hi to CDC either because you're usually talking when he. Hi, comes CDC. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to make this. I have to make sure this is in far enough because if it's not, it's going to touch, and I. I think I need to push it in a little further, actually. This this coil, you know, getting it in there tight's a good thing, but you have to make sure it's in far enough or you will arc out against the chimney and that equals a bad time. So does that look like it's inside the silver? I think so. I think we're good there. If not, I can readjust it again. I need my cutters, which are not where I normally put them. They're always right there. Oh, what did I do with them now? Don't know. Great. I have a drawer full of about 80 more pair of cutters. But which drawer is that? I don't know for sure. I need to get another pair out because... I didn't steal your cutters, but I did steal these weird-ass plastic tip pliers. Let me see if I see my Stop. other... Oh, look at there. There's another brand new pair of cutters. All right, there we go. <laughs> I got so many of these, I ordered like a boatload of them all at once. Hey, these are way sharper, too. I like that. So, let's get this other coil in here. Nice and close up there. And I can basically push this all the way up against the post and then pull it out after I tighten it down. Because if you try to pull back on it a little bit, then you when you end up getting it tight and you pull on it some takes even more out of it so that then it's too far out because they don't I give you I like need you to rebuild the this one too damn because i well i just filled it and now it's acting as though it's flooded and it's spitting juice in my mouth well that's not good i think my cotton has just kicked the bucket all right let's see if we can get this cut without using my goggles This top one is going to be close. There we go. I think we're in good shape there. I think that's good. She's got the hog. Is this still at 100 watts? Yes. It is. All right. Well, I may have to turn that down a little bit to burn these in. I'm not trying to catch them on fire. Whoa, that looks freaky. Yeah. 0.13? Holy crap. I told you they were going to be low. <laughs> These must be stainless steel. I found my... Um little coil sticks that are ceramic for that kind of thing and I put them away so I wouldn't lose them and forgot where where oh here they are the ceramic <clears throat> sticks well that would have been nice to have about five seconds ago yeah you know how that goes I got one a little higher than the other one I guess I can bring this one up would you like them now or is it too late uh, i think you're too late i think that ship has sailed <clears throat> well there we go that looks good there 
Let me see if I can type. I've never tried typing this. Typing what? The chat. It says sending. What the heck? That took a long it. time. Took a long time to send, though. You rob yourself? Yeah, I gotta rob myself. Um, let's grab some cotton. Oh, here's a bunch of DCF cotton. Let's just use some of it. I got a big old bag of it still. Oh no, we all got the scuba cough. Oh no. Jamilin says those coils are going to touch, they're too big. I don't think so, because the chimney's going to be on the outside of that ring. We shall see. I mean, uh, it's it's a possibility because there's not a lot of room there. Nolan said, "Burn it in, Scoopa." He did. Let's see if these are going to touch first. Okay, that's all the way seated. No, they're good to go. Point one nine. That's with it all the way seated in there, so that means they're not going to touch when I put cotton in there because I'm not going to move them at all. You need to decide what juice you want in here, though. See, that... Creed, last time I looked at Nick River, they had leaders, but they, their website is more difficult to navigate. Than it used to be. Right. Are they having a sale? <laughs> Where can I? Nick River only has a gallon. Gallon? Damn. I mean, I would. If gallon is not that expensive, I would buy a gallon. I mean, we could always use nicotine. I don't want to run out, and then they go, oh, yeah, we're banning it where y'all can't buy nicotine anymore because I want to have some spare. It will get used at some point. I guarantee that. All right, that's a lot of leftover cotton. And I only need enough to go down in this little catch cup. So I'm going to go just a little bit past it and cut. I'm probably going to have to cut some more of that off. But I'd rather have too much than not enough. Once I fluff this out, we will readjust the situation. 164? Mm, I thought I was 153 last time I looked. I mean, granted, that's not cheap, but... Look at what a carton of cigarettes costs now. And do you know how long a gallon would last of nicotine, especially 100 milligram? That'll last a minute. So I think it's worth it. Yeah, it seems yeah. it seems expensive right off the bat, but considering how much you get and how long that would last you. Yeah, I mean it's not yeah. like you're buying like I could understand if it was like 24 milligram because you would have to use a lot of it, but 100 milligram uses very little to make a lot of juice. So you're actually going to be saving money that way. Let's see. I think that might be a little too much. That one looks okay, but this one's a little too much. Let's see if we can trim some of that off. Yeah, I mean, and you can get the amber glass bottles. I bought some from Amazon last time when I got a bunch of nicotine and just split it up in smaller bottles and put it in the freezer. They don't give you a lot of room in this. This is back in the old school days. They don't give you a lot of room to put wicking, but we're going to work with it. Yeah, and like Jamil said, it's only $43 a liter. That's actually... Pretty fucking good. Yeah. That's almost too much cotton. Almost. That's perfect there. That was good. I'm going off camera, my bad. Alright, did you actually order something? Did you figure out what juice you want? 
I actually have some really good wacky one-off here, but it's six milligrams, so that's not going to work for you. Um. Yeah, it's six milligram. See, okay. I, I got a full bottle right here, but it is I six milligram. More of my pear claw. Um, Eighty twenty. Where'd my bottle go? Hold on. Y'all don't need to hold off. You have it. strawberry. I mean, unless you're going to run yeah, that in I've different. Yeah, but I've got that in my other thing. Okay, yeah, don't run the same thing. I mean, that would be pointless. Once again, I have money. Just don't want to have it that long. Right, Creed? I mean, you can't take it with you, right? He's, I mean, he's not talking about the money. I would... I would Why is the camera freaking... You want a one-off? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like that one. I would, uh... I'm waiting I for the camera to... Put it, put it in smaller bottles. Once this camera decides to kick back in, what kind of crappy camera? I'm going to use my other camera. This thing has gotten on my nerve for the last time. It's like, really, look, it's taking forever. And you got okay. anybody up near you that wants to split it? Y'all could go and have these, and you could get give half of it to them. I mean, if you put it in a dark bottle and put it in a freezer, it should last quite a long time. Yeah, I I need to double check and see how much nick we have, and I will yeah. take the bullet and just get a whole gallon yeah, of Yeah, because we have this bottle right here. It's a liter that is probably about three quarters full, but mm -hmm. I know we have more in that freezer downstairs. I just don't know how much. Their their liter bottles are not gallons, if anything. No, but I know I still have some of the amber glass bottles too. Damn it! Now I gotta pee. Okay, let's get this these coils broke in good. Let's double check, make sure everything's tight. That one could use a little tightening. That one's pretty tight already. Well, if I can find the screw hole in this one. There it is. Oh, that one's tight. That looks really dry. I thought I got juice on everything, but that looks really dry right there. Did I tell y'all about the Doc Martens that I got for 10 bucks? Yes, I think you I have. Well, hello, Angela. I hope y'all have fun. I tried to wear them today, and it looks like I was going to work wearing combat boots, which I suppose is the point, but... But I have to find I have to find the right, right outfit for them. Yeah, dude, don't care. He'll be like, "Oh yeah, I'm wearing it. I don't care." I mean, they're they're uh, what you would call it. Um, Patent leather, so they're fancy, but I don't know. I, I don't. I wasn't feeling the vibe of the fit, so I didn't wear them. And then I put my slippers on when I got to work and left still wearing my slippers. So my shoes are at the office. And my slippers are here. She, she came home wearing house slippers. I was like, what in the hell? As I told Melody today, they are not house shoes. They're office shoes. My house shoes are gray. 
They were house like, shoes. Look at you wearing your house shoes. I was like, these are office shoes. Thank you. Okay, we're still showing point one nine. Everything's good. Look at this with the old round holes to fill. Oh my goodness. That's going to take a minute to fill up, I'll tell you that. I mean, you know, free. Well, we can't do estate planning in California, but it work for an attorney if you want to spread the love. You can make an arrangement for an amended trust. You can see the bubbles coming Same. up. That is the Mod Father, Frank and Miser. Yep, Mod Father. Very old tank. It's been around for a while. And it's taken a while to fill up. <laughs> Hi, Scott. I um, know I'm kind of off camera, but man, this thing is... A little bit more. Ah, she's full. Finally. I must be really behind on the video. Yes, I am. There it is. Full to the max. Let's focus that. Focus that this on. There we go. I'm disappointed because that tip is more blue. Than whoa, purple, whoa, so whoa, 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 whoa. What, 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 what? There's juice coming all out of the side of it. Yeah, well, now you got the mods literally sitting in the puddle. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, this doesn't have juice flow control, so when I put the top on it, the pressure probably pushed that juice. Let me see if I can release the pressure. I don't know if that's going to help it, though. That's a lot of juice coming down on that wig. But, I mean, y'all saw it had plenty of wig in as there. As soon as he's done making a mess, I'll show you if I got my turn. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely making a mess. We'll see how it works here in just a second. That You, you, the, you keep scooting it back in the puddle of juice on your build mat. Why don't oh, you wipe that Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I got to get the juice out of it. Hold on. Let's go back to the main cam and we'll we'll get it um, fixed up here in a second. Oh, I'm glad he did that before he handed it to me. Yeah, it'll be all right in a minute. Oh, that needs more power. More power. Frankenmizer, this, this is the mod that I got. Look at that. Isn't she a beauty? I need, I'm going to need something else. I need to make a drink, so Ooh, look at that. continue. Look at that. Oops, sorry. It's upside down. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that inside. Look at that, how clean and pretty it is. Just got some advertising right there for you. Yes, very, very nice. I like it. And it doubles as a protection. It's huge. It is huge. How much does it weigh? I wonder if I can weigh it on here. You probably have the scale. Um, you know, it doesn't seem that heavy to me. But let's see. Let's see what the scale says. I, I don't Oh, <laughs> more than this scale can measure. It, I don't think it weighs 10 pounds. What's wrong with the scale? It, it's too heavy for the scale. It's too heavy for the scale? <laughs> All right, I'm cleaning this, the mod off yeah. now. Um, <laughs> now I got the mod all wet instead of Maybe a, about a pound, maybe? No, maybe more. 
I know that's enough wick, so this thing can kiss can my tail. I did not under wick this. I don't know. Tanks are a lot more forgiving than they used to be. This needs more power. I mean, it's 0.18, so you really got to crank this thing up. may have to use that other mod for this. Oh, yeah. That's starting to come through now. And it, the leaking, I think, has stopped. I just got to get okay. everything. According to the scale, I weighed myself holding it, and then I weighed myself not holding it. It's almost two pounds. Really? I, I don't know if that's mm -hmm. accurate, but... You sure I, our I scale it, won't weigh that? I, you know, but, I've held a pound of weed in my hand, and it is not as heavy as this. But I wouldn't say that it's two pounds. Oh, I'm probably... But you know what? I'd be really mad if I broke my tank, knocking somebody out, but I, I probably could. 200 watts should be good. Okay, Cloud Chucker. I may have to turn it up. It feels like it's kind of underpowered, and I'm. but her batteries are almost dead because she don't charge shit. I got eight batteries in here fully charged. Well, I'm going up to well, 100. I'm not going to switch them out until they're dead. This is 150 here. Whoa. Okay, that's a lot better. That's almost too strong. But I need to make sure that this is not going to leak. I yes, thought I had this on one. tight. It almost feels like it's flooding, but I literally, that thing was slab full of cotton, man. I Older would, tanks are not as forgiving on the cotton. I on the almost build. said, I don't have any other tanks, which would be a lie. <laughs> <laughs> but, Weather okay, so, for real. My fatality is gold. The stainless one that I have has that ugly yellow Delrin because the glass busted on, on the clear glass that I had. So that's not going to match. And I can't have a little rinky-dinky tank on top of this mod or it would look stupid. For the paramotor guys, look what I got. You still got 11 minutes, sir. Uh, well, it's just, it's just brand new prop. It's a brand new prop. Don't fuck that one up. No, I plan not to do that. The one I have on the paramotor now is good. It's just I wanted a new one when I go to that fly-in because I don't want to be worried about it exploding while I'm in the air. So nice. I, I think that one will be fine. So my plan, because I found and I... I keep going, oh, look, I found that, and then I lose it again. Um, this thing is putting out a hell of a cloud. It. Holy moly, man. Oh, here it is. Nice, Frankenmiser. Look at you. I have this scanner, which is old as shit, right? It's old. It's erasing electronics. It was not cheap, but I have, I also have my shortwave antenna that I keep in this cup so I don't lose it. So I got the wide range and the shortwave antenna. Um, so I, I just, it's been so long, I forgot how to use it. I think I've got the headphones with the splitter in that closet over there. The only thing that I don't have is the battery pack that goes in the bottom. Um, and I don't know where that is because it's a little, you've got to put the batteries in a little thing that slides into it. Um, and I don't, I don't know where that is. That's an expensive prop. Yes, Bill, it was expensive. <laughs> But my, I got a factory R. I have to. That's a 140 prop helix, um, 287 reduction. That's what my motor uses. I can't be like, oh, let me use 
135, it, it just it's not the same. So it is what it is. I mean, I was going to buy it from from um, running to the sky, but honestly, you have to donate. Then they charge taxes on. It would have cost me more money to get it from donate from run to the sky, and I was trying to help them out, but. It was it was more expensive, so I was like, "Damn!" And I'm literally just doing that so I'll have a spare that I know I can trust. I'll actually have two spares. I have another prop that's in the truck right now. It's um one of them F props. It's a 135 with the right reduction. It's a 287, but it doesn't push as hard as the Helix. Not even close. So I'd much rather run the Helix props. So. I love my chair. When I actually get to sit in it. Oh my God, the cats, as soon as she got that chair, the cats have taken over that chair. They sit in it all day long. I came in to turn the light off yesterday and the cat was yelling at me. It's the air, air purifier outside the, outside the office. Right there. Um, yeah, they've taken Oh, y'all probably can out. hear the, um, Y'all can hear the fan running because my mic is not is no longer doing what it used to. Let me see if I can figure out why. <laughs> it used to cut out those noises, but I don't know what I changed, but now it's not doing that. Um, my input gain is way up. Let me turn that down. Maybe that'll help. Um, but I my had... said that's loud. I had some software that would change it so that it wouldn't put out that strong. Wow, why is my, my mic is turned so high? There, that's a little better. Hopefully Hi, Linda. that's better. So we went and bartended at Pause for a Cause over the weekend, or last week. Um, we did. Mm -hmm. Got to go look at doggies and kitties. And I, I didn't come home with any. I left them all there, unfortunately. I wanted to bring them home, but I did not. Um, got to, we, were, we were the bartenders, which the only reason we had a drink limit was one for liability purposes and another because we didn't want to run out. We had to go um, home. <laughs> yeah, we, we, had, we, we didn't want to run out, uh, but we came home with a lot of stuff. Part of that stuff being like three quarters of a goddamn wow. carrot cake, which is the best carrot cake I've ever had in my life. Okay, I it's delicious. It, up. it is so good. Hopefully, so that's good. loud enough now. <clears throat> You're always loud for me. So. I'm always loud. Uh, this is true. So I figured I could turn myself down, but then they're like, no, turn yourself back up. You're lower three. than Munchkin. I, I wish because. They, out of all the dogs we looked at, I'd say there were maybe four that weren't a bully breed. They, all their tags said they were mixed breeds, but we all know what they were. I just wanted to bring them all home because they all looked so sad. Um, nice cloud chucker. There, <laughs> there was, there was um, a basset hound. It, it was, he was like a orange basset hound he was a big one but i mean all these were older dogs i think there was one dog that was under two years old there um, i i just wanted to bring them all home with me he fell in love with one named cookie which was cookie was a very cool. a very short pit bull but built like a brick shit house um and her name was cookie but i mean you, you i if i didn't have cats Cookie, I, we would have put it in an application. But, you know, when you have a seven-year-old dog, you have no idea how they're going to behave with cats, especially when my cats are assholes and don't like dogs. So, you know. Um, I mean, Cookie was cool. Don't get me wrong. I, I really don't yeah. want another dog that's going to put us in a situation when I need to go somewhere, you know. Uh, the dog would probably tear up the house while we're gone, just guessing. Well, bullet <laughs> pitties need a lot of exercise, and we're not home enough to give them that. They get very destructive when they get bored. And, 
Yeah, okay. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to get a dog to, unless we could like that. That's kind of why I want. I want a boxer. Because they're big dogs, but they're big dumb dogs. Yeah. So get a boxer puppy. They're they're not really aggressive. You get it as a puppy, you can socialize it. We could take it with us. Um, if you get it as a puppy, the cats will get used to it. It'll grow up knowing that the cats are evil. Um, no. I mean, I brought Jasmine over to spend the weekend and... She was very interested in the cats. She was not aggressive towards them at all. But one of the cats, Sophia, that we no longer have, slapped her and cut her nose. And she was very unhappy with that. And I told, I told you to leave the cats alone, that they did not want to be your friend. Um, but she, she's still not aggressive to cats, but she's a little more wary of them now. Kyle Chucker, just make sure you're really careful with the screws when you go to unscrew them so you don't strip them out. It's literally really easy to change the button. Once you get your buttons, just make sure you get a Phillips that fits in there really good. Unscrew these. Once this plate pops out, these buttons literally just fall out. Stick the new buttons in there, stick the plate back on, screw it in, you're done. It's really simple. You'll see when you get it. It's, it's not hard. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so I've decided that the diet is going to be off for the rest of the weekend because we have to dispose of like six pieces of carrot cake. Oh, and the lady made they're like little tiny cheesecake tarts. They're in little tiny cupcake molds that she put the fruit on top of them. They are so good. Like, they're so fresh that when you peel the paper off of them, it sticks to your fingers. They're delicious. And then this one yeah. brought home an entire tray of fucking pork uh, beans. Baked the, beans. That, them beans were good. So, they're like barbecue baked beans. Those are good. I mean, Scott, I don't really mess with the, mess with it too much. So, as long as my wattage is set, I can read that part. Um, the battery, I have to put my readers on to read the battery level because it gets kind of squirrely. But it does need to be charged because it's at 59%. Is it? Yeah. We'll, we'll switch it out and see how it looks on this one. As soon as she... I lost 10 pounds. Um but I have to dispose of this character. Once she starts vaping that, her office is going to look as cloudy what, what as this What do you one. have? What do you have it on, wattage? Um, 150. It, it fits a little warm for you. You can turn it down. But it needed it needed a lot of watts because it was it was too low. And plus, I was trying to burn off some of the juice that was in there because it was pretty much flooded. The more that cotton swells up, though, the better it's going to get. And it's pretty much done now. It, it should be swell up and good to go. I'll swell up. Congratulations, Creed. Yeah, it's it's so weird because basically Wednesday we went to pause for a cause. We were like, okay, we're not going to do the diet today because we were eating cheesecake and freaking carrot cake and now we brought a bunch of that home and i'm like damn i don't want it to go bad so i guess tomorrow or the next day we're just gonna have to eat all that stuff because i don't want it to go bad no and, and it's, it's too so good moist, to go to it, waste. it will turn green with the quickness so even though i'm i went right back to keto the next day so now i've been starving the last two or three days so now i gotta go back on or do it again and I hate it because every time I go into keto, I get really sleepy. So I'll have to go through that whole procedure again. You must test it at 400 watts. <laughs> no. That tastes completely different. Does it? Mm-hmm. Well, it's on a different I tank. can actually taste banana in here now. Ah. It's blowing out some big old does clouds. It, does it look stupid with that tank on it? 
I don't think so. It doesn't look that small. Uh, it doesn't look that small in your hand. It doesn't look that big in your hand. I don't think. No, you don't no. think so. Your hands got most of it covered. I mean, maybe it's your camera angle. I don't know. It's definitely putting out the clouds, though. You like blowing these big old clouds. Yeah. At 400 watts, he just rebuilt it. That'll destroy the coils. <laughs> They're my cotton. I don't know. That's pretty low ohm. You can go up pretty high. But. 400 100, watts. 150. Yeah, it'll go to 400. <laughs> All right. That's at 400 watts. See, I'll see that. Can you see that? Oh. No, you can't. I wouldn't see that. suggest more than one second. Um, that's going to be very hot. Oh, yeah, it's his burntless book. She burned it. Cloud Chucker, damn. At least she didn't do it but a second. That won't probably, it'll just mainly scar it just a little bit. Yeah. She did hit it at 400. She just didn't. That looks like a flask. <laughs> It's a big mod breeze, but honestly, uh, it's it's got all the power you'll ever need out of a mod, and the battery life is actually pretty good on that thing, and we never even had it fully charged yet, so until we can get it fully charged, I have no idea. Um, I know, like I said, DCF has it. They did do the deal tonight, so they got it for three seventy five <laughs> if you pick one of the designs from they have the catalog or if you want to do your own design it's 385 and that also comes with i think a 500 mil bottle of juice so it's not like it. yeah you got that bottle by you Woo. it's gonna make jamilin mad but yeah a giant bear that bottle is huge just to give you an idea where's one of my little no they do not include the charger here spent. we go but so if you, you look at my bottle, you can, you can charge. What what happened? You just I hit a button. You can. It's got a charge port on the front. Yep. You as a micro USB. Hold your bottle up again. Yeah. You see how much bigger hers is. <laughs> Yours is bigger than mine. Yeah. This is a two fifty mil. Hers is five hundred. So it's double the size of this one. <laughs> Congratulations, you can add. <laughs> do they include a charger? Yeah, yeah, they don't it don't come with a charger. It is a 4S battery. I do I can recommend a good charger that I got. <clears throat> this charger is literally only like 24 bucks on Amazon. This is a LiPo Pro, uh, balance charger and it has all you see all them white connections. That's 2S yes. all the way up through 6S. So you can charge, I think it's 2S, let me see, yeah, 2-cell, 3-cell, 4-cell, 5-cell, and 6-cell LiPo batteries. And it comes with all the adapters, so you can plug in whatever you need to. Good little, good little, and this is all digital display here. You can pick LiPo batteries, nickel metal hydride batteries, um, NICAD batteries, uh, then it has a balanced charge, a regular a fast charge, uh, uh, D, not D charge. What the hell is that? Um, something like that. It does all that. Scuba's Honey Bear is smaller. It is RS. She got the big one because it comes with that mod. So I'll have to wait to get mine whenever I pay for it. It's literally, I, I owe less than $100 on that mod, so I'll have it. I, I don't want to pay it all off right now, because I don't want to be broke until we get paid again, honestly. <laughs> we got other stuff we got to get. She wants to go to freaking Texas Roadhouse, which I think she should have to pay for this time. And then... Um, I can't. I got bills. Daggum it. <clears throat> Well, hit boss man up for a raise. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's weird like that. He'll give her a raise and won't say nothing. She'll just notice it on her check. It's like, really? 
I've been waiting to see that, but it hasn't happened. Well, I was <laughs> like, yeah, I'm going to have to cancel my health insurance. No, don't do that. Yeah, I think he was surprised when I told him how much I actually bring home after taxes and insurance. He's like, really? Cloud Tucker, it'll balance the battery if you don't ruin a cell. Um, it's really easy to get the battery down so low that it just won't charge. Um, I can show you, like, even this battery, it, it had a dead cell in it. And then when I charge it, you can see it's kind of puffy. I tried to charge it with that charger, and it kind of overcharged it. So now this battery's puffy, and I don't think it's going to be safe to use, honestly. No, and did you tell them what happened with your drone battery when you tried to charge that? Well, the drone battery definitely had a dead cell. <laughs> that one... You came walking past me carrying it like this, going, it's overheating. <laughs> it's on yeah, his I'll way out the outside. back door. It, it was, that thing was messed up. But I did fix two. I only had three dome, drone batteries. One of them is completely dead. Um, the other two work fine now, so... You know what I would, what I think they should do with these bears? What's that? Because nicotine is poison, right? They need to put X's over the little bear's eyes, like it's a dead bear. <laughs> or, or make. And there's there's a nice flat spot on the back they could put a big poison label I mean, they, on it. They probably make those bottles for honey or something, because you're not well, going to well, be able I'm to go. Sure, find they do. It. Yeah. You're not going to be able to go find a bottle that's like skull and crossbones, you know, which would be yeah. more appropriate. But I don't think you can just go find those bottles anywhere. That should be, we should find those for them. so Because that would be cool, a skull and crossbones decanter or bottle. Oh, yeah, definitely. I got... I got the go-ahead from um, Langley that if we fly low enough, they don't care. So I don't even have to call them. It would be nice just to take off from this field by my house and fly low just to practice landings. Um, I want to do that over and over again. I did order a special mount for my 360 cam. So if that comes in, well, that's supposed to come in tomorrow. So... If that comes early enough, I can throw that on the paramotor, take off, and I'll be able to watch myself land and see if I do okay or not. I mean, I did fine with the trike, but the trike I was able to feather the gas. I do not want to try that on a foot launch, honestly. Did I finally call them? I did not, Scott. Um, somebody else in our group talked to them like in a presentation. <laughs> to see what we were able to do, but they're, they're cool. Langley's cool with it. They let us fly. All I got to do is call them. Do I have an altimeter? Yes, um, Breeze, I do. Uh, I, have, I can use the one on my watch, but I have an app on my phone that not only tells me, it tells me everything. It's like... Don't you mean an altimeter? No, it's an altimeter. Um, yes, I know what it is. I'm being a smart ass. People it tells don't know you how, how high that you word. are. It tells you if there's other aircraft in the area, which is a great feature to have. So if you have a helicopter or a plane near you, it'll say warning aircraft at your six o'clock flying at, and it tells you what height they're at. So say you're flying at 500 feet, it'll say you know aircraft three. Three, at your three o'clock flying at 1500 yeah. feet. So you'll know how much higher or lower they are than you so you can get the hell out of the way. You're Just in saying. my chair, kitty cat. She's like, so yeah, it's, it's a see. really great app. And I won a lifetime subscription to that app. So in August, they'll be kicking it over to my lifetime one. Cause I already had, I've already paid for it for this year. So I gotta wait till it runs out. I am now relegated to the third of my chair that the cat has not usurped oh she <laughs> she took over the chair she see did. as soon as she gets out of that chair the cat's like "Ooh, chair time right in the chair mm -hmm. yeah so i guess i'll just hang out over here on the edge i i know how it's pronounced creed he had some video he was watching where they kept calling it an altimeter 
Yeah, they did. It was I think the guy crazy. was from over the pond, and it's like they already can't. They yeah, already say al aluminium. altimeter. So yeah, they called it an altimeter. I'm like, what? Okay. Why are you looking at me like that? This is my chair. I have every right to sit in it. She don't feel that way. No. My next project that I want to do, but there's no rush to do it, um, is... Oh, yeah, he does, creep. I want to make a LED controller for my paramotor so that I can have cool lights on it and not pay for almost $500 for some LED lights on my paramotor. Um, I mean, granted, they're only good for evening flights near dusk, but it looks really cool when you do fly at that time because they light up really bright. I like them. Altimeter. Yeah. I said all. Altimeter. Altimeter. How about that? Does that sound better? <clears throat> I probably did say it wrong because I've been drinking and I, I'm, I'm excused. I can just do that. At least you didn't call it an altimeter. Your cat is the mascot for gun. For real, Linda. Your cat's like, what's up? Just knocking over her green screen and crap. <laughs> it definitely, the cats don't like when you get on the computer. They're like, no, I must bug you right now. Well, she's also irritated because Bandit is in here. Oh. Which we all know he's not allowed to be happy. Right. So, yeah. So her it's kind of funny. Changed. We got a sign from Amazon that says, nah, we good. No soliciting, right? Because I can't tell you how many people have knocked on our door to try to sell us solar panels for the house. So it's either we have to talk to them forever and say, no, I'm not interested. Or we say we're renting, which instantly makes them leave. So you can say you're renting and they're gone. Or we put, nah, we good. So we did have somebody show up while we were at the um, pause for a cause. Yeah, we were at work. Oh, we were at work? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they saw the sign and he read it. You could hear him read it out loud. Nah, we good. Mm -hmm. And they turned around and left. <laughs> they did. So the well, after sign, they rang the fucking doorbell. And yeah, they rang the doorbell. Him. And then he read the sign. I'm like, you read the sign after? What? What? So. Mm -hmm. At Just least to start the going outside worked. spraying them with a hose <clears throat> or inviting them inside to check out my Amway products. Could I interest you in some, um, what are they called? Oils. Yeah. What, a, what are they? Young living oils. Get, push, gee, would you like a diffuser? Let me, sh that's annoying as shit. It's like if I wanted my roof done, my trees trimmed or a water softener or solar panels, I would fucking call somebody. Go the fuck away. Unless you're the underprivileged kids walking around selling fucking candy, get off my porch. <clears throat> well, there you go. Right, Boots? Yeah. I remember one day I was high as a kite at home, had no snacks, none, and the doorbell rang, and I opened the door, and it was some, <laughs> some young black kids asking me if I wanted gummy bears and peanut brittle, and I was like, hell yes, I do. Give me one of each. <laughs> Bill, and honestly, I mean, the reason why they don't come around, they're scared they're going to get shot, which is a reality. Yeah, but don't they realize where we live? They're just going to shoot you with a different type of weapon here. Instead of a shotgun, it's going to be a 9 millimeter. Yeah, but out, out in redneck country or the sticks, it's even worse. They don't want you, they don't want people even walking on their grass or anywhere on people their land. They figure once you're on their land, it's open season on them. I mean, I, mean, I don't know what's worse, the people trying to sell me solar panels or fucking Jehovah's Witnesses. 
I, next time they show up, I'm going to be like, it's my birthday. Come on in just to see the look on their face. <laughs> Talk about Buddha. <laughs> yeah, the, the freaking solicitors are getting on my nerves, man. And lately I've been getting phone calls at least three or four a day. And they start early. It's like eight in the morning. His phone's ringing. All telemarketers. And I've blocked every single one of them numbers. And you know what they do? They call from a different number mm -hmm. every single time. And I'm like, man, um, maybe cloud Chucker. Well, they're spoofing numbers. I can guarantee you it's like, um, uh, timeshares and bullshit like that. I have no desire to want to shoot anybody. But yeah. So I, I don't have any weapons because I've always had young children in my house. Um, I've thought about it. Well, your son-in-law, you know, kind of ruined all that. Shooting up the place. <laughs> that was unintentional, and he did once he. Of once course, he it was unintentional. Straightened out his drawers. He immediately called the shop that he bought it from and started looking it up. And apparently, that particular weapon had been recalled because of a design flaw. Um, and the one that he bought was supposed to have been fixed. And it was not. So they gave him all of his money back. Um, but yeah, oh, I get emails from myself all the time, Breeze. <laughs> it's like, oh, look, I emailed me and told me I won. Look at that. Ain't that some shit? Wow. I haven't had that happen. Thank goodness. Yeah, I called the client today and she's like, I, you're lucky I answered the phone because if I don't recognize the number and I'm like, oh, I don't blame you. I would have left the message. But if you're not in my contact list, obviously that means I don't need to talk to you. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> I mean, that would work. Yeah. I, I don't remember what it was, dire thing. Um, but it was something about <sighs> this safety not engaging when it was supposed I can't rem I cannot remember what it was but he had been cleaning it and was putting it all back together when it fired no it was and some off brand gun dire thing yeah he I remember that specifically it he, was some yeah, crap gun I was on the phone I was on zoom with you when it happened <laughs> yeah and I um, saw that gun I was like what yeah. the hell kind of piece of crap is this shot my coffee table went hit my remote control, went through my quilt rack, and into the corner of the wall. Luckily, he wasn't aiming no, nowhere near anybody. He, I... That, that shook him, definitely. Um, okay. Yeah, he, he was not comfortable with that. Actually, Linda, it was more like, bang! I, I turned around I was like, what the fuck was that? And he's like, that was a gunshot. But he, he couldn't he couldn't get it. He was like glued to the couch and called the girls just because they were upstairs. They it went nowhere near them, but his immediate reaction was I need to get something from them that they're still up there um talking. And he immediately went and yeah, it was um he he doesn't own one anymore. He he got his money back and did not buy another one. I think that was enough for him. But We're now my mother, on the other hand, she's a fucking sharpshooter. <laughs> well, when she's not drunk. You know, Cloud Chucker, you say you're not allowed in the UK, but does that mean people are not going to do it? I, I would still think that they would try to get a hold of something. I mean, maybe they don't, but here. What's up with y'all, y'all's road men? I keep hearing about road men when they're like, "Run me your wallet," and they've got like a little tiny pocket knife. How about no? <laughs> they if they if they tried to ban guns here, they would wallet. get them illegally, guaranteed. There's no way the NRA would ever, and I I don't really think it needs. I don't think they need to be banned. 
I just think if you've been fucking committed to a mental institution, maybe you shouldn't fucking have one. Right. But, you know, I mean, shit, that stabbing in Australia, if people are out to hurt people, they're going to do it one way or another. I mean, you know. Hmm. I don't know what the resolution to that is, but, I mean, shit, what was the fucking... What was his name that bombed the Alfred Burrow building? He didn't have a gun, and he managed to put a bomb right under a fucking daycare center. So if people are out to hurt people, they're going to do it. Yeah, it won't yep, happen yeah. here, Wally. They'll it's find another happening. way to do it. So. Every it's not city, necessary. There are shootings, I, but they're not legal. Yeah. Wow. See? So. I think... I think the problem is is because we don't know how to solve that issue and everybody wants to talk about you need support for mental health but actually getting support for people with mental health issues it, it's not it's not possible uh, so everyone just goes to ban because they don't really know how to solve the issue and I mean, I don't, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> oh, that Creed, that's, I don't, I don't know whether they have guns or not, but what I'm saying is this man in the mall managed to stab and kill six people in the mall full of people. If somebody wants to go out of their way to hurt people, they will, whether it's with a gun, a bomb, a knife. Chucking bricks at people. They're going to find a way to hurt people. Well, then you have the open carry, and then a lot of these places say you're not allowed to bring your weapon in, and then all these people get stabbed in the mall, but they have signs posted where you're not allowed to bring your gun in, so everybody ends up dying because nobody can bring a weapon in there. Well, I mean, that like, one guy stopped him from coming up the escalator, and I think he had like a... Not a wet floor sign, but something along those lines. They got a video of him holding the guy off. Um, but, I mean, I you know, I don't know. We've got a lot of angry people in the United States that don't necessarily have the ability to express themselves properly, and somehow they think hurting people is a good thing. Well, and Wally, I in the in the in the the record rooms, right? There in Norfolk in particular, they had this book that you could look through um, cuz there there's a lot of old books in some of these record rooms that are just kind of sitting up on top of filing cabinets was all of the admission records for the local mental hospital from like back in the 20s. And it was amazing what could get you fucking committed against your will back then. And this, so they tried to fix that and just swung in the other direction that, you know, you can't get a grown adult help for mental health issues unless they ask for it. And that's only if they can fucking afford to pay the exorbitant cost that it takes. The same with fucking rehabs and shit. I got to unplug my mic a second. Hold on. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you could just get a little bit mad and they'd fucking, they'd commit your ass, especially if you're a fucking female. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think we should all start smoking pot. It would be a lot more chill. I mean, now that they've legalized weed around here, there's not nearly as many road rage incidences. And all, it'd be easier to tell you the few times that I haven't smelled weed in traffic than when I have. Everywhere you go, as soon as you get on the interstate, that's all you smell is weed. Weed, weed everywhere. You're not supposed to smoke it while you're driving. But, and the cops here are like, fuck it, whatever, I don't care. You're, you, the stop sign is not going to turn green. Go, motherfucker. <laughs> deinstitutionalization yeah I mean I, our country yeah. seems to have a problem with finding a happy medium on anything <clears throat> I 
Maybe, Maybe that's, that's what, what it, it takes, Scott, Scott, because, because you know, if you, you say I'm going to hurt, hurt myself, myself, they're like, well, don't, 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 don't do that. that. I don't know, my, my niece, I mean, switching hers was not mental health. It was drug related. But when when you think about it, drug addiction to a point does have something to do with your mental health. Trying to get a grown ass adult help for drug addiction is fucking pointless. I mean, she was in the Navy, right? And they sent her to the to Navy's Navy rehab, rehab center. center. You'd think you she's think government, she's government fucking, fucking property, property, right? They, they let, let them, them leave, leave during, the, during day. the day. As long as, as, long you're, as back you're back by six. six. How, so, okay, you can go get fucked up and do whatever you want as long as you're back to rehab by six o'clock. How did they think that was ever going to fucking work? She had people leaving fucking drugs for her at her old house that got foreclosed on hidden under the back porch and shit. But she she was free to go about her business and how how do you how do you think that was gonna be effective at all? Yeah, I don't know which mod to use now. I'll just hold both of them. It says I need to upgrade my damn thing. To, to... I can hear you. Yeah, but it's telling me now there's an echo. Is it working a, okay now? That, that was a few minutes ago. Yeah, I had the mic unplugged, and then I went and updated some stuff. And now it's telling me that I need to update my NVIDIA so that it'll do the noise suppression because mine is outdated. And that, that's what I'm trying to fix is the noise suppression because when you talk, I see it peaking my mic, and it normally doesn't do that. It normally blocks all that out. Frankenmiser so. said it's okay now. Okay, well, I mean, I'll fix it later. It's no big thing. I, it's not something I got to do now. Well, hello, Bandit. They can see your big ass head in the screen. Wow, Bandito! <laughs> he can't hear you. Was Daddy calling you? Look at you, you big old hoss. That cat is huge. Seventeen pounds. Well, last time I weighed him. I, it feels like he weighs 25 pounds. No, especially when he's standing on your chest, but yeah. He is a <laughs> big old meanie. He likes, um, thanks, Cloud Chucker. Um, he likes coming in. Hey, Brett. He likes coming in, getting me when, at 1030 every night. He mm -hmm. comes in there to go, hey, it's bedtime. And as soon as you stand up, he heads for the bedroom. Mm -hmm. And he won't even let you get in the bed before he's already up there like, hey, what's up? Pet me. Well, Pet he'll, me now. he'll let me get in the bed. Wow, he just yawned. Big old yawn. He yeah. He sees something on the ceiling of interest to him. Oh, yeah. If he sees a mouse or something, it's, it's on. That cat is all about hunting he, something. He realized by watching mouse TV, right? that my computer is touchscreen. <laughs> so when he would accidentally minimize the mice, he's pawing at the screen trying to make it pop back up. I had to turn the touchscreen off. I don't know which one I want to use. This has got strawberry earthquake cake, and this has got one of the wacky one-offs, which, you know what sucks about those, right? Is you get one, you'll never get it again because you have no idea what the fuck it was. Right, yeah, the one-offs are... Literally one off. So once you run out, it's gone. That's what I'm vaping right now. And um, no, I'm not. Never mind. That was you. I was gonna put some in one of my tanks, but I haven't done it yet. I take. I really like my share. It rocks. It's. I taste the banana on this. When I had it in this tank, I didn't taste the banana, but I I taste it in this one. Yeah, it's some tanks are a lot better on flavor than others, so that's why I like the fatality so much because I could taste the flavor better. And my fatality is just sitting there right now with half a tank of ga juice in it. Half a tank of gas. Yeah, half a tank of gas. Well, it's not leaking, <laughs> so that's good. No. 
Well, that's good, yeah. Well, you say no, like you didn't fucking pour half a bottle all over your desk. <laughs> I did spill some. Yeah. I don't know what happened yeah. there. It's not like it. That was a lot of pressure. I mean, that that's a lot of juice pushing down. That thing holds a lot of juice. I need to find another drip tip for this tank, though, because it doesn't match. That bothers me. Yeah, I told Julie but that. It's and a she's... weird... Said she's trying to get some more in, so she. It's might a, a weird size drip tip though, because I've got the eight tens and they don't fit. Your eight ten was some kind of press fit. That's not I've the got right... others, and it still. Yeah, is the not... blaze is great, Creed. That's what was on top of my mod that I lost on the beach was the blaze, unfortunately. So. Isn't that what's over here on this one? It might be. I, I don't so. know. Did we have no, two blazes? That's, no, that's a juggernaut. Oh, okay. Juggernaut's good too, though. I like the flavor off of it. I don't know where the... And it's a top airflow. So it's really good as far as top airflow tanks go. I like the flavor off that thing. Let me see if I can keep up with these cutters. I'm going to put them right there. And then in a minute, I'm going to find the other ones and be like, oh, yeah, they're right here. I don't think I stole them from you when I rewicked my mod. I think I just grabbed because I can't. I can't. The only tweezers I had, they're somebody fucked them all up. So when you tweeze them, I'm not they missing the tweezers. Touch. I'm missing the cutters. I don't. I just. I don't. I stole your shitty pliers, not the cutters. I don't know which pliers you could have stole. Here's one of the adapters for the charger. So this one plugs into the charger, and then it's got those. a red and black. Oh, wow. How long you had those? I've been looking for those for a long time. No, you haven't. I grabbed them off your desk last weekend. Well, they must have been hid because I didn't know where they were. Well, that doesn't surprise me. You lose those shit are directly ceramic in front of your face. Pliers. They, they're they really good at holding coils in Creed, place. he has one. Show him the Tasmanian Devil Cup full of all your shit. And he still can't find a goddamn thing. I actually used to use it as my coffee cup. Yeah, I got lots of stuff. That's just one cup. I have three of them up here that's full of stuff. So, but I mean, I took, I took the cutters out earlier to use them and there's so much stuff on my desk right they're now. Not on, it's, it's they're not shame. on the kitchen table, are they? They might be. I don't know what I would have used them for in there, but. I don't know. Anything's possible at this point. I then lost the plug to that figures. Oh, look, this is my cup that I got from Roger's show. Want to hear something depressing? The average new home price in 1976 was $43,400. The average rent was 220 bucks. Of course, the caveat to all that is the average yearly income was only $16,000. <laughs> I keep a my... gallon. A gallon of gas was fifty nine cents. Um, a pencil case. That would be impossible, Scott. I mean, just get that cup that you just saw is huge. Well, and okay. It's full, and there's another cup right next to it, which is here's a SX Mini it's coffee full cup. Full of a bunch of duplicate bullshit that you probably don't need with a this thousand screws. One... Is you it, have a wrench in there. What have you ever needed to rebuild on a on a mod level with a wrench? I, I don't know why the wrench is in there, but yeah, this is the Yee Hee Cup. Scott is a minimalist. He keeps what he needs in his pencil case. Probably. You are and a I keep, of all things. I keep air things, so I don't. Air thing. Mm. So I so I have it. And Great Vector, time. if I if I put anything on my desk, Vector comes and pushes it off anyway, and ends up on the damn floor, which is probably where the cutters are, because Vector likes now, pushing everything. No, I think everything. they're on the kitchen table. Okay. Vector loves pushing my stuff off Let's on the floor. Let's go see, just for shits and giggles, because I need more beverage anyway. If I find them in 30 seconds, you owe me something. Oh, look at that. 
If they're in there, it's because you took it. You took, you took them. them. What would I take them for? I don't know. Why is 90% of your shit on the kitchen table but anyway? these cutters are dull anyway. But, well, that's where they were, so. Did we build the RTA yet? Yes, 60-watt guy. Um, we built... We built an old tank, which is the Mod Father. Um, if you're familiar with that old tank, that's what we built. Um, it has an old velocity style deck on there. Um, and honestly, you know, the older tanks are not as good as the new tanks because the older tanks either had smaller post holes. Um, yeah, you know the Mod Father? Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. So the build deck itself was pretty small. I can't put the amount of cotton I'd like to put on there, but you know, you got to build with what you got. So that's what I did. Mm -hmm. um, it did leak when I first put juice in there, but that quickly stopped once it, the cotton swelled up from the juice. It was fine. She's vaping it now, as a matter of fact. Every surface has stuff on it. Yeah, Creed, I know the feeling. That is his every life's mission, is to cover every horizontal surface in our house with bullshit. I, I try not to do that, but... No, you go out of your way to do that. I, I don't think I'm trying to do it. It just happens. I get lots of stuff and things, and then it ends all up all And he place. drags it all out and then just promptly leaves it. Your entire room is full of vape stuff, too. See? I'm not the only one. Yeah, but he's the kind of guy, all right? So say, for, ex for example, if he's looking for something, he'll pull out all the boxes in all the bins. He'll get sidetracked for about an hour of other shit he didn't know he had. So he pulls all of that out, right? And then he finds what he's looking for and then goes bopping on his merry way and leaves everything where it, where it lays. Wow, doesn't it say, still... oh, great, I found my thing, and then boxes everything back up and puts it away. No, it's just left there. Look at this. I, I got to show you all. I wonder if this is still brand new. Here's the Mod Father 61. Isn't that the ones you got a bunch of them for like nineteen dollars? Oh, that's the kind with the silicone cases. I have the original one over here. I need my light. is no scuba mic oh oh let me okay now my mic should work on there my bad i'm sorry yeah um now that i updated everything it screwed all that up so i gotta go back and fix it one at a time. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, yeah, what I was saying was I, I got a lot of stuff like that that is still brand new in the box. I haven't even opened. A lot of it came from the Higgy's auction. I still have, like, old um, Steam Crave mods, that Aromamizer 2s, I think, that are still brand new in the box. Um there's so much stuff, man. It's it's a bad. To, it's always fun to unbox. It is, but how much vape gear can you have? I mean, you know, I got a lot, a lot of vape gear. I have stuff that I'm like, oh, I'll find like a bin that's absolutely full of RTAs, and I'm like, holy crap, where has this been the last five years? Because there's a lot of it that's so old. I'm like. Damn, I don't even remember these tanks. And I've been trying to go through and like ultrasonic and clean them so that they stay, you know, decent. 
because some of them I've put away with juice in it, which is bad to do, but I've done. So, and then I got this whole stand behind me that I got from Jazzy that's absolutely full of mods I hadn't even tried yet. So, got to do that too. Let me show you how he stores things. Just hold that thought for a minute. Uh oh. Here we go. Yeah, that's how he stores things. Not usually in a bag. I mean, that was probably I mean, a spur of the moment is. thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but I put I put them in a yeah an old it's kind of gross. peanut butter pretzel pretzel jar or something like that usually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but yeah oh wait wait here's here's another bag that one's got juice in it Ugh, look at that gross those must have got put in a bag when we moved because i don't remember having them like that they did now that's mine. why for the most part, are all in the bottom of this box right here. You store your mods in a cabinet. 60-watt guy, if you knew the amount of mods I got, I mean, this stand Ooh, look, is look all the way around. That's the one that's that just part of it. Lead pipe, do you see that? That's the one that lead pipe made for me with the matching drip tip. That's uh, not glass. I got that but... case over there that's got some really... You know what? I'm not grab looking. That case. Hold on. He's grabbing his case. So lead pipe made that for me. So it's oh. matching, matching tank, tank and drip tip. And there is my fatality with the ugly ass Delrin, because my other one got broken. And there's there's my, a vapor flask. Th these are all. Look at this. I got three R150s. Um, one of the two of them are the abalone, and then one of them is the it's all stainless with carbon fiber. It's a gorgeous breeze. What is that? Is that that is that a gold juggernaut? That's a fatality. That's 30 millimeter but that fatality. That's a fatality. Yeah, but that other one was the bigger one. This is a Sigeli, just like the one I pulled out earlier, but with a wood panel. On okay. thing on there um what else do i got in here i got two of these mods which these are old um asmodus um they look like a pistol handle these are pretty cool they go up to 120 watts dual 18 650 like those mods oh look at that y'all know what that is is that a kelpie that is a kelpie This one, I believe, takes a 26650. It's Look a big that. old mod. Um, what else do I have in here? I got one of the old pipes in there. <laughs> that was that one. And then I got that one. My gold.com. I still have the old. These probably won't even charge anymore. This is the H Cigar HT200. This is the blue one. I have a black one. Last time I tried to hey, charge Eddie. it. It was like, eh, screw you. I got this to go with the R150. Here's another blue one, actually. Do you, do you remember when I got that one? Yep, I do. That was... A, it's When I went to look for it for its expensive, Vapor this shark. is so tiny. This is a good mod, but, I mean, it don't go up very high. But it's a, it's a great mod. All right, that's another enough for dot com. the case of memories. That's just another spot for me to put a bunch of stuff yeah Ugh. none of the drip tips i have in here will match <laughs> vapor shark i remember those At right all. i got a couple different vapor sharks that one's got the built-in battery then i got oh no that one takes an 18650 i got another one on the stand here that is the chargeable type um vapor shark and a bunch of make mods that I, I rarely use make mods, but um, 
Eddie Tooney, what is going on? And this is a BMI that I got to match my gold mod, but the fins broke off on me. But I got oh. that. It's all gold to match. You know what old yeah, RDA sure. that I really liked? Um, mm -hmm. That, honestly, the clones were not as good as the uh, the original, the tugboat. And they were very simple RDAs, but the tugboat had excellent flavor, man. Love the tugboat. I still have... I still have the one I got from Timekeeper. Um, so I have to find which bin I put it in, but I got it. I would not lose that. So that gold Addy matched this mod. Well, you can't Damn, really that thing see is it. shiny. Well, it's gold. Now, <laughs> the, gold. The, part, the part that's somewhat embarrassing, okay, is that I bought this. And the matching Addy because it matched my Christmas sweater. You knew I was going to say tugboat. Hey, the dot coms were great too. Don't get me wrong. I one of the dot com RDAs is in the back of the truck for some damn reason. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I loved all the dot coms. I have a gold dot com. I think, I think um, Jen oh, from Higgy Sigs has two gold dot coms. I have one. I gold just dot showed com. a gold dot com. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, because you don't fucking listen to me. You are not paying one bit of fucking attention to anything I've said in the past. I did. Minutes. I just saw that gold mod you were showing. Here's my gold.com right here. Look at that. All my gear is worth nothing as long as I'm still alive. Yeah, it's going to be worth money after I'm dead. There you go. This it is ain't scuba gear. It's worth skier. anything anyway. <laughs> We can say what we this. paid for it, but unless anybody wants to buy it, you just <laughs> pile it all in my casket with me. I don't need I don't need all that. You're taking your gear with you when you die. <laughs> you so you can get your vape on. Make sure you charge up my mod before you put me in the ground. I'm just saying. I was <sighs> Yeah, I got I got a two post uh wait. I've, yeah, two post dot com and the three post, which is the normal one. Yeah, I got both of them. Yeah. I don't know where that is. Um, I really wanted to like the dot com. Really, really wanted to like the dot com. And no matter how I built it, I even tried vertical, which yeah. I was very proud of myself that I did that all by myself. And after, I don't know, four hours, the cotton just sagged and it didn't hit for shit. And I just, I gave up on them because I felt I like I was had constantly with fucking with it. I thought they were great. I mean, I, I think the tugboat was so good because the way the airflow came in, it was, it just, it was just on point, man. It, it came in, hit the coil, went right up in your mouth. It was great flavor. Well, and those would hold their value, Creed. <laughs> yeah. Mods ain't gonna hold their value. Yeah, musical instruments are high dollar things. I mean, the Stradivarius guitars and tell stuff. you all you need to know right there. Yeah. I read an article. Somebody left his fucking Strat on a bus. He actually got it back. It's a very expensive violin. I'm still debating on tomorrow or not. I am not leaving this house all weekend, so. You don't have to leave. I'm not saying that. I'm I got shit to do. I got to clean the bathrooms. I have to do laundry. I need to clean up all your shit covering every vertical surface. I want to take the stuff off the bar and dust it. Well, if. Damn it. I don't know. It depends. I mean, it's raining now, so it's like, eh. It's also cold out. Well, yeah, if it stays cold concerned. through tomorrow morning, yeah, that ain't it ain't gonna happen. I don't know what the temp's supposed to be tomorrow morning. See, but his problem is is he sees four twenty. There you these go. These yahoos that he flies with, flying all times of the day with no regard whatsoever for weather conditions, and he's jealous. True. 
it's not like I, I mean, I still, I will tell them straight up. I'll be like, hey, it's not going to be nice. I'm not, I'm not going. It's supposed to be 64 tomorrow at some point. I don't know what, uh, it's supposed to start off at 54, though. That's a little cool. How do you know when to tr replace your coils? When you re-wick and then two days later, they start to pit after a while and they collect all of the caramelized They'll look like rusty coils. <laughs> and they don't even need to look rusty. It's just when you when you clean them, and I've heard dry burning. You don't want to do you don't want to do that to clean them. But I don't know how it, any other fucking way to do it. But um, see you, Linda. <clears throat> yeah, dry burning them clean yeah. works for a while, but yeah, it'll start to pit the actual metal. So no matter how often you rewick, as soon as as soon as you get that crust that starts to build up, it fills in all the nooks and crannies, and you got to hold the button down longer because it's got to get through that crust to heat up and vaporize it. So, I bet if we just walk outside tomorrow, it's going to smell like weed in the air everywhere just because it's 420 day. It already smells like weed everywhere. True, but it's going to be even more. I'm guessing. And it ain't like, oh, I need to fly because it's 420. No, that's not it at all. I'm just, well, I, I mean, I got a flight in last Sunday, so it's not like I'm itching. But I do want to test that headset before I send it back, which I need to do. Why do people message me dumb shit? That, it always happens. So, I got an email, right? Mm-hmm. And it says, can my wife and I come in to go over this house loan we just got? I don't know what you got. I, I, I think I know what they got, but I didn't get a copy of that. How about you just forward me what you got? We don't need to meet face to face. I can call you on the phone. Well, I, I don't know. Who fucking sent it to you? Maybe you should call them. To go over it with you. Because I didn't fucking send it to you. <laughs> and I don't even know who he is. You want to put a fucking address or something in here? Wow. Call I'm it sorry asking to hear me that, for Jerome. Shit. We're not arguing. Are we? Are We're not arguing. Oh, we're, no, I'm, 50 I'm bitching years. about Man, that's clients, long... Jerome. I'm sorry. That's a long time to be married. 50 years. No, we, we don't bicker. Or we don't argue. We bicker. <laughs> um, I just don't understand why clients are emailing me at 7.30 on a fucking Friday night asking for shit. Because I'm not going to be doing that. Yeah, I built I built you? her Addy earlier. Um, I don't have any new stuff, so it was an old Addy. It was an old mod I got father. new stuff. I got new stuff. She did get a new, new mod. Yeah. I got new. Yeah. DNA 250C with a 3,000 mod battery. Um... It works pretty darn good. It goes up to 400 watts, so it uh, it's pretty good. Um, 50 years? That's a very yeah, long time. Yeah, 50 years is a long time to be married. It is. That, um... And I'm sorry, Jerome. I mean, I don't know if you got married really young or, or what, but that's that's a long time. I mean... Even if they got married in their 20s, you put them in the 70s now. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't been together that long, so I still get the fuss at him occasionally. Nah. We don't argue. No, not really. I mean, if they are, they're very brief arguments. We say our piece and then we. <laughs> Go along and ask. What do you mean too long, <laughs> Harry? It's uh, it's supposed to be forever. You know, you know I the mean, whole okay. to death to, till death to us part. Arguing is part of a marriage, but again, depends on what you're arguing about. Because 
I have met some oh, people that... Very nice, Jerome. So you've been married um, your whole life, pretty much. <laughs> they, they, It's like they've never heard the term, pick your battles. And it just... Um, like a lot of the women that I used to work with, primarily, every conversation they had was about what their husbands aren't allowed to do, who they're not allowed to talk to, what behavior they need to change. And it's like, do you even like this person? Because you don't hang out together. You do your own things. You're not even friends. So why would you marry them? Because to me, a good relate, you have to start as friends. You have to be married to somebody that you actively want to hang out with. And I've noticed a lot of people don't do that. I mean, there was a guy named Fred that used to come over and hang out every day after work and not go home till 9 o'clock. Well, where's your wife? Oh, she's doing her own thing. So mm -hmm. when do you actually see each other? Mick, you're funny. How's you know your mom that's, and him? You know that's <laughs> uh, scuba saying right there. You're not, you're not from the south. You're from the way east <laughs> over the pond. How your mom and them? That's is how your mom and them. <laughs> I mean, you can still go to bed mad, but like, I I am not, and I have never been one to. Oh, you're sleeping on the couch. I I just don't. I don't. I mean, I don't. I can understand. Like, I am not thrilled with Scuba's habit of trying to cover every horizontal surface in our house with his belongings. Um, I like things to be put away. They have well, places. They need to go in those places. But I'm not going to. <laughs> I have a friend from Alabama. <laughs> I'm not going to die on that hill. I'm not going to spend my life. Well, it would help if we had more space it. in our house. But No, were... it would help if you put shit back where it belonged after you pulled it out of wherever you got it from. But again... That's this is something I know about you, and I am resigned to that being my fate for as long as we are together. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm not going to complain about it, but do I expect it to change? No. So, just as you've resigned it to your fate that as soon as I walk in the door, I'm going to complain about stuff over every horizontal surface as soon as I walk in the door. So, yes. as long as you're cool, I'm cool. I'm cool. I, I already know it's happening as soon as you get in the house. So I'm like, oh, here we go. One would think that means he would pick his shit up, though, right? I mean, but no. So I think he just likes the sound of my voice. You're chill? That's good. I like being chill. Um. Yeah, if it's nice outside tomorrow, not raining, I might try to go fly. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'm at least going to try to test the headset with the um, side tone turned on because obviously, oh, y'all didn't even get to see the video. Even if you don't fly, but, you can always just drive around in the school field with your paramotor and not your wing. <laughs> oh, you mean just ride around on the trike? Yeah, just drive around on the trike. I'm worried about... Um, yeah, 60 watt guy here. I'll sh here's one of my props. I just got a brand new prop. Here's half of it anyway. He straps a fan to his back and yeets himself through the sky, 60 watt guy. Mm -hmm. There's there's one of my props. Um, Zero self preservation skills on this one. Yeah, I fly with a glider on my back, but <laughs> it's honestly um Good night, Cloud Checker. One of the best things In I've advanced. ever done. I enjoy it a lot. I do not. My she, ass she's scared. Get a, get, a, get a good workout. She's scared when I go fly. Yeah, if you go on my channel and look up paramotor videos, you'll see all my flights. I got them all posted on YouTube. I think every one of them I've recorded, even my first flight ever. Um, I got my training with Kylo Glee down in Louisiana, way out in the sticks. Man, does he live out in the sticks? Goodness gracious. Louisiana. Yeah, there's some. The, my last one was my second trike flight ever. And people think that means I've only flown twice in my life. That's no, it's the second time I've flown a trike, but whatever. So, but 
Congrats to Jerome for the 50 years of marriage. That's awesome. I am so sorry that you lost your wife. That's got to really hurt. I mean, obviously, you're very used to her being around. If she's been around for 50 years, you know, it's like, man, how do you how do you deal with that? I wouldn't even know. I, I, I honestly wouldn't know. But no, that would suck. Everybody, I hope you all have a great weekend. We will be back here, same bet time, same bet channel next week, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Until then, see y'all later. Bye.